My name is Eric Sprague. I'm known professionally as the Lizard Man. Lizard Man obviously has had uh, a little bit of work done. He's at what on earth would make someone want to do that to themselves? I understand you want to be unique, you want to stand out from the crowd, you know, go buy some new shoes. I like the look. I mean, if anything, maybe I, think I saw my first Godzilla movie when I was 11 or 12, and I really liked that, so. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw him, I was just shocked. I couldn't believe it. The different things I've had done to my body, I think the, the most obvious and sort of at the beginning is the tattooing. 70% of his body is reportedly covered in tattoos, and he has spent more than 700 hours getting tattoos done to his body. I mean, if that's not dedication, I don't know what is. My tongue has been bifurcated, split into like that of a snake. But it's great for catching flies. I've never tried to catch a fly. I can hold things between my tongues. I think that's just so weird. For about the last decade and a half, I've primarily worked in sideshow and variety entertainment. I do things like sword swallowing, fire eating, straight jacket escapes. I want to know how he will be feeling about it all when he's 80 years old. I will never say that I'm absolutely done because I don't know what the future will hold. I am the pioneer of Botox injections. She looks great. She looks great. <laughs> I think her look totally works. It's definitely plastic, but it works for her. Bit crazy, but the woman looks good. When Botox first came out about around 20 years ago, I was first in line to have the procedure done on my face. In this photograph, with her mouth wide open, it's tough to appreciate if her lips have been plumped or filled with uh, any fillers or not, but it is possible. You know, most of them do have their lips augmented to keep that full looking appearance. I didn't do anything to my lips, so I don't know what you're talking about. I've seen her in person sometimes, and I would disagree, but she can deny it. In my case, I haven't had too much plastic surgery. I've had Botox in my face. Yes, I've had laser refinishing done to my face and to my neck. My third procedure was a breast enhancement. I've had my eyes lifted and my, my face done up. So you see, I haven't had too much done. I don't think she's trying to look younger so much. I think what she's trying to do is like I do, just try to look good for your age. I'm 55, I'm still surviving, I'm going strong. Thank you very much. I thought, OK, well, I'm not going to pay for this boob job. I thought, well, how can I turn this into a bet? So I was with Sabotny, and I was with Joe Thomas, another gambler, and I was talking about, how could, Mike, how could your girlfriend have a breast implant? Why would she have breast implants, you know? And, I, and I, my, my, my last phrase to him was, if I had breasts as nice as hers, I swear to God, I would get more free dinners and more mileage out of them than she would get. And Mike, I knew, he took the bait, okay? Svovo took the bait, he goes, yeah, well, why don't you get some? Okay, I said, Pfft. all right, so we start talking, how much for? Uh, he said, I don't know, 100,000. I think that's like not even really getting plastic surgery. That's just being a fool. I thought, well, hey, look, at I'll, I'll get boobs, I'll like them, and I'll never have to have a date again. I'll just have a nice rack in my right hand, and that would be it. So then I went under, and that's it, and then I had the boobs. The problem is I'm still getting money from these guys every every year. I make money on the boobs that I keep them in as well. The problem is I'm so afraid now that they're gonna sag and they're gonna look like two wet socks with nickels in them or something. That's what I think about all the time. Bing! Too much Botox, don't you think? My name is Frank Marino. I am the longest running headliner in Las Vegas. I have a show called Divas. I impersonate Joan Rivers in my show. When we first opened, we had Marilyn Monroe and Julie Andrews. Joan Rivers, being the queen of everything, is the one character that lasted the entire test of time, from when we opened till now. So her star power is amazing. <laughs> this is a woman that I was afraid years ago that was gonna stop, but I'm here to tell you when the world ends, it's gonna be Cher, Joan Rivers, and the cockroaches. <laughs>